Hi there dear friends, this is Grace and welcome to my channel. It's process video number 121 entitled Fabulous Teacher. So this is going to be a fairly quick page because I've kind of pre-planned everything that I'm going to use and I've even cut some of it down. So I'm starting off with a scrap of white paper. I cut out some circles for another project and so I decided that I would use that as my um, background because most of it is going to be covered up and then I'm going to add the light blue cardstock, textured cardstock um, as in the center of it. And then I've cut these uh, paper, I believe they're, I know they're 10 inches long and maybe 4 inches, no maybe about 5 inches wide. And then I'm using my 1, 2, 3, uh, board punch to round the corners of that. It seems like that's the only thing that I've been using that punch board. Um, this is actually part of, or the items that I'm using here are part of the homemade kit that I put together for March and April. And if you ever want to check out what items that I put for this homemade kit, um, it's going to be in the description below so you can click on that video. Um, I'm using two four by six photos, but the one on the bottom I've kind of cut just to um, cut out some of the parts in the photo. The sky actually is what I cut out because um, that was just white space. And I did pre print my journaling and I used a typewriter font, I believe, that I just got free from the internet. So these are pictures, as you can tell. Um, these are my kids, and these are their uh, teachers for that year. I believe this one was 2013, maybe 2014. No, I think it's 2013. Um, and so my, my daughter was first grade, and then my son was fourth. I think so. It's been a while. I can't remember. But um, so I'm just kind of documenting how awesome teachers are, especially um, these teachers for they really did um, the awesome job with my kids. Um, my kids had a great year because of the teachers that they have. And um, I don't know about you, but I, I appreciate teachers a lot because um, they they just have that great gift of being able to. Well, the good teachers anyways, <laughs> they have um, the great gift of being able to connect with so many different personalities and behaviors. And so, um, and my kids are, are like, are, are one of those because I have kids that have kind of two different personalities. So uh, I'm just glad that they were able to find teachers that match with those personalities. Now the um, hearts paper on the top and the bottom, I've cut those about half an inch wide and about 11 by 3 quarters length. And then um, that striped paper, that's actually the back side of the hard paper. And then I'm just adding that on the edges. Um, this is actually based off of a scrap lift sketch from Scrapbook Cards and Today magazine. Um, they have a blog and they have challenges once a month. And um, I saw the challenge for the month of March and I thought, oh, um, you know, I like that one. The layout actually was for a winter type theme, but um, I went with, I was inspired by the sketch and um, the elements that they were using on the page. So if you saw me counting, I was just counting about like how many letters spell out teachers because when I want something to be centered, I always go with what is the center um, alphabet on that title. And as you can see, I spelled teacher wrong. I put the A before the E, and I will correct that here in a few minutes when I realize what my, I, I did, the mistake that I did. As you can see, I'm fixing it up. And even though I started with a center, it still wasn't centered on my block there, so I'm fixing it. The good thing is that I don't put them or I don't press the sticker um, really hard onto the paper so I can peel it up without ruining the the paper or the sticker. And so I have this banner and I wanted to use it, but I it's it's not um, flexible. And so, because I wanted it to kind of curb, and so it, my solution for that is to cut them in the middle and so kind of bend them. So it's it's not, um, 
a soft curve. It's very <laughs> harsh. It's very, you know, um, kind of triangle type or, or I don't know what to say, but, um, but it worked out because the, the stars have very fine points to it. So it worked out. And these are just wood stars from Creative Embellishments. And I'm just going to add that. Now these are some stamped words actually from a different project but it was on my table and I thought okay I'll dress up the page a little bit more with some stamped sentiments or stamped uh, words and I'm actually going to move that around because it was too big for that spot and then this one the pink one was perfect for the bottom part and I just journaled um, how grateful I am for these teachers and uh, what their names were and the grades of my kids because um, this was in 2013 so as you can see I kind of almost forgotten the kid, kids teachers names and so it's always nice to put the who what when and where sometimes on pages especially if it's something that you will want to remember later on and then I'm just trying to go through all my stickers uh, here and see what else I can use to dress up this page. Um, this, this is about this is a school theme page, so I got the alphabet and also this one, two, three from an old GCB Studio sticker sheet. And then I wanted to add a a, a date. Actually, I just wanted to add the year. And I thought of that black one, but it was too close to the black of the alphabet sticker. And so I'm going to look for a different sticker. And there's the one that says date. And then I'm just going to handwrite my year with a Sharpie. And that's going to be my page. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, make sure that you leave it in the comment section below. And I will catch you guys soon. Bye.